Oh my god, it's too dark in here. Um, babe, could you turn the light on, please? Um, I, I, I'm in a hotel. Oh no, no, that's too bright. Turn that on. That's better. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't want it too bright. Um, I'll just, I'll just give you a minute to hop on. Um, I'll just, um, hang on a sec. I'm just, I'm just gonna get myself a nice, nice Red Bull. I haven't washed my face, I haven't brushed my teeth, that's dirty, I'm a dirty, dirty girl this morning, um, to be fair, it's only six o'clock, um, who's there, somebody's there, Facebook says keep going, we're telling your friends to join, Elaine, what are you doing up at this time, have you been to bed, um, I've been up all night, oh my god, I've been, I've been, I've been working all night, um, I was bored and um, I'm in a hotel in London and Mister's asleep, I've worn him out um, so um, time for a brew oh that sounds good babe, you're going to make me a drink he's, he's pretending he's asleep so he doesn't have to make me a drink um, anyway I'm in a hotel in London and I was bored so I thought I'd go live just because um you know I thought I'd share the boredom really I thought I'd bore you all just like I'm bored <sighs> I just I just want to talk about needs because um you know I've been thinking about this a lot um I'll just I'll just I'll just wait because hopefully hopefully a few more people might join otherwise Elaine it's just you and me it's me and you now. I've been waiting. Think I'm gonna make my move. See, I can't sing, but it doesn't stop me from trying. Elaine, I've been thinking about needs, and um, somebody else is there. Make yourself known. Um, I've been thinking about needs because um, my ex-boyfriend Voldemort, he used to say that I was really needy, and um you know, that it was a really bad thing, but, um, actually, it's, it's not actually, well, I, I don't actually think, let, let me start from the beginning, um, we all have needs as human beings, okay, we all need, um, food, shelter, um, to feel like we belong, we need to feel loved, we need to feel appreciated, we need to feel valued, um, it is not a bad thing, to need those things. You should never feel guilty for having a need. Um, yes, Nicolette likes sexual needs. I've, I've got, I've got massive sexual needs. Um, but anyway, I'm not, I don't, don't want to talk about my sex life. Um, not, not in this video. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so my ex used to say I was very needy. Now, I actually think that the reason that I was so needy in the relationship is that he wasn't satisfying any of my needs. Um, you know, I um, I never felt secure in the relationship. He was always making me feel insecure. Um, I never felt valued, appreciated, loved. Hi, SJ Carroll. I never felt anything good at all. Um, as a result of that, I was needy. Yes, I, I admit that I was very needy in the relationship. But um, I think that's his fault, really. So, <laughs> um, you see, the thing about human needs, okay, is, hi, Angie. Basically, the only thing to do with a need is to satisfy it. Now, if you are unable to ask someone directly to satisfy your need so you don't have the confidence to say to your partner I need you to do this for me you will find an indirect manipulative way to get your needs met now you may not do it consciously but I can guarantee you will do it subconsciously for example if you need your partner to make you feel appreciated but you don't have the confidence to say, darling, I need you to appreciate me. You will do things, um, you know, wanting that validation, wanting that appreciation. Um, 
there's nothing wrong with that but um personally i think it's better if you can just be really direct about your needs um you know six months ago i wouldn't have had the confidence to be able to be upfront because the problem with being upfront about your needs is it makes you very vulnerable so you know if i said to a new man oh i need you to make me feel all these things you know potentially he could run a mile because he'd be like holy shit she's needy so um you know I'll, I'll i'll do it slowly <laughs> i'll drip feed i'll do it piecemeal i'll boil the frog there's a there's a saying about basically you, if you throw a frog into boiling water obviously it's going to scream but if you put it into water and you just keep raising it and raising it um the frog is going to boil it's going to um you know it's going it's not going to be very nice really but because you do it slowly it doesn't really realize it so i guess i guess i am a bit manipulative after all um anyway so what was i saying yeah so you you know your needs they they are important they do matter and they do need to be satisfied um you know you you should never um you should never apologize for having needs because um needs are a good thing you know if if we didn't feel hungry you know we'd starve but obviously you, you you need your food um but you know you also need love and security and peace and fulfillment and you know there's nothing wrong with that so um so you know don't don't ever apologize for for need, being needy and um you know if if you're a female and your partner says that you're needy um you know, flip it back at him and say, well, look, if you're satisfying my needs, I won't be so needy. Because, you know, this new, um, I'm not going to say the R word because it's early days, but um, this new romantic situation that I'm in, um, I don't feel needy at all because, um, you know, all my needs are being met. Like, he... Um, you know, he texts me good night. He texts me good morning. You know, like my ex never did that. He would never text me. You know, I'd wake up and there'd be nothing there. And you know, at night, like I'd text him good night, darling. And like half the time, he wouldn't even bother replying. And you know, that didn't that didn't make me feel secure in the relationship. You know, I felt like he d didn't think of me at all. Um, so you know, give him a kick. Elaine, he's asleep. I've worn him out. Bless him. Wake up, babe. I need a coffee. He, he's pretending to be asleep. I know he's listening to this live because it's all about him. Um, he, he's pretending to be asleep, I bet you. Um, oh, we had a good night last night. Do you know what we did last night? Um, we ate kebabs and chips in bed. And we drank red wine. And we watched my live videos. <laughs> It was the perfect night because he um he'd been at work all day so he hadn't had time to watch my live so I said that's all right babe I don't mind watching them again for the tenth time so um yeah so anyway we had um kebabs in bed it was heaven and then we um you know we had a bit of a cuddle for a couple of hours <laughs> and uh, now he's asleep so um. Anyway, it was the perfect night, really. So tonight we're hitting the strip clubs. We're going to Stringfellows tonight. I'm well excited. Um, but I've been up all night. Anyway, I'm drink I'm drinking Red Bull at the moment. I'm actually I'm actually naked, so I might wanna. Yes, it's all good in the hood. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, anyway, Elaine, give give Wayne a big kiss for me with tongues. And um, I'm I'm gonna go, but because uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go and jump on that young man. <laughs> Anything to get him to make me a cup of coffee, eh? So um, anyway, so I just want to close. Wayne will be home in a few hours then for breakfast. Nice the beer the the breakfast of kings. I'm I'm gonna have a beer in a bit. Is it is it is it too early to start drinking? What's it six o'clock? Nah, that's all right. It's um. It's lunchtime somewhere in the world. Um, all right, I'm going to go because I'm rambling, talking shit. Um, 
I'll um I'll probably be live and I'll probably come I'll be coming at you live in the strip club. Um so yeah, I'm well excited. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna say bye. Have a great day. Love you. Bye. Bye Elaine. Can't wait. Can't wait for your hen party and your wedding. Alright.